Welcome to the first ever episode of DTV, okay? It's a, it's a privilege to be here. I'm Cal Wally, I'm your host. I mean, and I just want to just put it out there straight up. I'm, of all the great TV shows, your Seinfeld, your Breaking Bad, your Game of Thrones, it takes a season or two to get into it. So just bear with us. This is our very first episode, and I'm very fortunate today to have Brant College with me. Brant, how are you going? Good, mate. And I guess the first question on my mind is it, is it Brant or Brant College? Uh, well, mum would make sure you say Brant. Brant. Yeah, she doesn't like Branch. It sounds a bit redneck. So, so as, I, as I've said, all right, bear with us. There are going to be a few mistakes, but you've heard it here first. Brant College. Um, I've been going with Moose. Can you talk us through that nickname? Because that's what we've um, heard. Yeah, not a great story. So uh, over at West Coast, one of the coaches thought every team needed a Moose. So he did have a nickname at the time, and that was his reasoning for giving that to us. So. Kind of sucks. He once said it in a meeting one day, and then it's stuck ever since then. Unfortunately, it's, mate, I'm happy with it. Uh, and the brand brand confusion was getting to me, and that was that was a bit of an issue. Oh, well, so, mate, obviously back down the days. Uh, we're excited to have you. Obviously, there's a little bit of disappointment not being the AFL system, but how are you finding it so far? Being back, I guess, at, at home. Yeah, really enjoying it. So, um, obviously, got it finished up um, in the system last year, and then um, was lucky enough to get the opportunity to come back to Perth. So. Played a lot of my juniors here, Colts, under 16s, all that kind of stuff. So um, I was really, really happy and, and pretty fortunate to come back to you know, my junior club. And um, yeah, really enjoying it. There's not too many guys that I knew previously, but um, it's been really, really good getting to know a lot, a lot of new faces and, and see a few old ones as well. I think it's, um, especially from a playing perspective, like the way, so, so far you've brought a lot of professionalism. I don't think you've missed a session, which is fantastic because we do, as you said, we do have a young group. Like, how are you finding it out there? A lot of young boys, a lot of new faces. I reckon it's really good the way you've gone about it so far. So how are yeah. you finding it? Yeah, it's been really good. So um, a little bit different to what I've been used to because normally I've been one of the kind of younger younger guys um, and now kind of stepping up, um, being one of the more experienced guys in the group has been a good challenge, but um, it's been fun as well. So just, yeah, really enjoying working with those young guys and, and trying to get them up to speed and, and hopefully, um, you know, that's going to help us next year. That's it. So the, the big Duke, he's a bit of a presence. Uh, how are you finding him so far, Big Eel Sporting? Like he's, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, he's been really good. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't know, um, you know, I didn't have much to do with him previously, but um, ever since I've come down, he's been great. He's, um, his knowledge of the game has really impressed me and, and how well he knows footy. So, um, yeah, looking for, hopefully he can help us uh, as well to improve next year. So obviously I do a bit of research on, on all my interviewees here on DTV. Um, it said on the Eagles website your playing weight was 87 kgs. What are you weighing at now? Um, uh, just out of interest? Just a little bit heavier than that. A little mate. bit heavier. So yeah. obviously you've built a career as an inside mid. Yeah. Um, are we looking more out of the cage for you this year? What's with that extra? Uh, what, what are we going? Yeah, we're not, going? not too sure. <laughs> I might have to worry <laughs> if I put on any more. But um, yeah, no, um, wherever the team needs me, mate, <laughs> I'm happy to play there. But yeah, I'm not a full forward, just bring it front square up, the small <laughs> forwards are the rest. Um, the other thing is, a little bit of info as well, macaroons, what's your, what's your thoughts on those, mate? They're ridiculous. They're ridiculous, you're just going to write them off completely? Yeah, they're the most overpriced, ridiculous items uh, in a bakery. Well, I'll let our, our brand and business development manager, Daniel Ranger, was going to bring a few to the Christmas party, but I'll make sure he doesn't do yeah, that. I'll throw them out. Um, the last thing, oh, just another one as well, especially sentimentally, I saw in the state at age of war number 53, uh, yep. Is that right? Yeah, so is that a sentimental number for you? Is that something you're looking for? No, nah, no, nah, I think I rocked up late to the training session where you pick your jumpers and got stuck with 53. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Is it Perth, obviously, Waffle Club, the money's not what it used to be, and our lockers only go up to 50, so I was a bit yeah. worried there. I was going to put my hand up and then share my lock if you need it, but I'm sure we can find a number for okay. you. No, I'll try to take a single figure if we can get that. And, all right, serious question, 2017, what do you reckon help holds for the Perth Demons? Uh, hopefully finals, mate. That's that's always the, always the goal, and uh, once we get there, you know anything can happen. So, premiership would be very very nice to bring back home. That's it, mate. All right, first episode of DTV, Brant College. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Before we go, all the demon supporters out there, if you get the chance, send your well wishes. Our premiership hero from Hawthorne, who came back and played the days, Chance Bateman, just had a baby boy. Chance Junior, Mum Jess has gone really really well. So send them all through. We'll make sure we get them. We thank Brant. I'm Cal Wally. Look after yourself.